I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Hmm. Londinian, Doctor. I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Asilis? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the colony war, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe, something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, and not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand.
damn planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, uh, what do you need? Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. But sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, would hate to see anything happen to them. Now, what was it you needed? Don't worry, I'll handle the paperwork. Could feed a small planet with the amount of food this place goes. No more reliable heart. Military grade, everything up to spec.
Hey. to jump to safe harbor immediately. Let me check my logs. <laughs> All right, you can proceed. We'll let them know you're on your way down. Hey, it's always a good day when you come around. is clear. Let's hit that.
I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world. And I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an... eclectic group. You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum, I'm... No need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you. As does the urgency of your mission. So I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's with good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, we'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. And I do believe there's someone waiting for you there, Captain. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Asili's plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. All right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. you're going out there willingly. Damn.
Blanchard's description. The Vanguard captain? The cabinet wanted you to have something. Make sure you had the best tools for the task at hand. Now, if you'll excuse me. show on the road. Kaiser? Percival, everything green on your ends? I am ready. Personal comm should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that? Roger, loud and clear. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Kaiser, kick it off. Unlock code transmitted. Looks like the 
last of them. No sign of the morph, though. Your shipping yard's just beyond the processing plant. Cash with some goodies is towards the rear of the facility. Kaiser, we close enough for you to dial in the location of those samples from here? Yes. They're faint. But I'm detecting multiple valid signatures. I have restored power to the containers. Jackpot! Get down there and collect as many as you can.
Vasily's samples collected. All right. Now hand those over to Kaiser, and let's get out of here. Samples secure. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid Terramorph sample, but, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted when the port did. There are steam tunnels under the city, which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you... That, that's right. Kaiser, how did you know that? I... am not sure. Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. Then we've got our answer. Access unlocked. We may proceed. Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus' plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. A real marvel. these leeches. What's keeping you things warm? What's that? My god, look at it. A Lazarus in bloom. You know, we might be some of the only... What's... What's happening? Captain, are you seeing this? God, the heat leeches are terramorphs. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then with time they transform. We. We just found out how terramorphs move between planets. 
pretty major is right. But if what we just saw, if that's possible, the Lazarus plant, it's clearly an accelerant for the Terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a Terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing. Get after it! We may proceed. Go! Cell data from the new Atlantis and Tau Ceti attacks, right? Uploading them myself. Captain, let Kaiser take a look at that sample. Beginning analysis. It is a match. This suggests with high certainty that the Lazarus plant was used to trigger the attacks on both planets. Uh, there's no way a plant this rare, this fragile, just shows up here, New Atlantis, and Tau Ceti. The transformations on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. Makes some sense, actually. Tau Ceti was likely their first test. Someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the Cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more Terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. Ideas where we could get some extra juice? Local power looks like it was controlled in the security office. Upper floor. Captain and I can scout it out. Kaiser, see if you can't find another way to get it open. Roger that. I have restored power to the office entrance. You may proceed.
There's the control panel. Still look. Of all the things to survive. Admiral! 
just transformed. An invisible. of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people. Condemned this city to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. He was a... was... Yes. Exactly what we all thought he was. But I guess... I guess that's just another part of his sick legacy now. He thought he was protecting us all, taking the secret to his grave. Only he didn't succeed. Now someone else knows about the Lazarus plant and is using it exactly how he feared. Systems are counting on us. Thank you. 
sample and get out of here. Good. Now just stash that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. on the comms towards the end there, but it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vague Victors knew about this damn plan? That's what it sounded like. Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. I'm sorry, what? Captain, now's really not the time to be making cracks like that. No. No, that can't be. I saw him. He's... He's actually really alive? My God. And you've known that... What? All this time? And decided now was the time to bring it up? You swore? You swore. You were just doing your duty. I know. I know what that's like. I'm glad you told me. At long last. Well, that revelation sure as hell changes things. It certainly does. He's alive. Ve Victus is still alive. Oh, this is just typical of UC bureaucracy. A cover-up of this magnitude could directly lead to war. What the hell is the matter with them? It also makes my father the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Look. Percival and I, we need to tend to these samples. Guarantee we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But I think you, Captain, should get in contact with my father and find out what he might know about the attacks. Good. We'll all meet back at mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him.
Ugh, recycled Welcome all. to UC Space. Just isn't the same as the real thing. While we scan your ship's... Spinning down. Will you just look at those stars? Ship is now docked. Perfect. Didn't even smudge the paint. This is my... Grav jump spinning down. Will you just look at those stars?
See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking... I don't know if I can do this. You're home away from home here on Neon. Performance. Our Can I you should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. I'm sure you can find some.
you want help, I'm here. Always a pleasure. You be careful, okay? Simple to say now, but with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team. 
and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadriot once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the Cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew. Why? Did he say why he did it?
killed all those people because of a chip on his shoulder and an obsession with his own status. That sounds like Ve Victus. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. I'm sure he did, but he killed dozens of people, and I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in, see if they have a preference. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Asilis seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. It's hard to know. Unlike my father, the cabinet aren't butchers. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, is unforgivable. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. They might be willing to spare him. And here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? The second report claims to know the perpetrator as well. Did Reginald Orlais actually commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use Terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest Order. This information does not leave this room. Now that's quite the accusation you're leveling. 
considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? Help us. I, is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We... Failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Ve Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. It's well past due. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian, all materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. We're already discussing the elimination of one species, Captain. Explain to me why you wish to eliminate another. That's only a partial solution. The UC should involve the Freestar Collective in the operation in an attempt to remain as transparent as possible. And once Ve Victus has been dealt with, this problem can end here. And allow us to focus on the grander task to come. Very well. We'll clean up the plant. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech, presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes. 
don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. The science division is in full agreement. I doubt there's another body in the galaxy that could pull it off. Absolutely correct. There are no better hands in the galaxy for this project than ours. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class I citizens to our ranks. Class I? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is... Thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies or done great things for its cause. Class Ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods, and I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Seems you're quite the investigator turning up the culprit behind the attacks like you did. Shame security Check doesn't have a detective position open. You All your like future assignments will be going through him. When the galaxy learns the truth about the heat TMD leeches, has a long they're going to be road begging for our help. But the results will be worth and it. We have plenty of tools to All branches of the, the UC stubborn. are on board with the plan. Now it's just a matter of executing. You made a wise choice, Captain. You made a wise choice, Captain. This microbe is the clearest way to a Terramorph-free galaxy. All branches of the UC are on board with the plan. Now it's just a matter of executing. Hey there. Glad to see you again. Honestly, I like when you get personal. There was a particular someone back in my days with the UC Navy. We actually, but as I rose in rank, I became more interested in my career than what she needed from me. I let her drift away. By the time I realized what was happening, it was too late. She requested a transfer and I lost touch. Anyway, <laughs> I've dated other men and women at various points in my life. 
but I'd hardly classify any of them as relationships. As you might have guessed, I tend to concentrate on work and let my personal feelings fall by the wayside. It often drives others away. Absolutely. Sona is clever, and she's proven that she can tackle anything life throws in her path. You can rest assured that she will get the best education and care that Constellation can possibly provide. You know, Sona and I share an interesting bond. We both survived on that inhospitable world, and it drastically altered our lives. Most importantly, though, I'm certain we're both stronger after the experience. Take care of yourself.